looking at the pump, gas prices are holding steady tonight, but that's not much consolation to most of us. Here in the Midlands, this Exxon station on Garner's Ferry is selling regular for 303 a gallon tonight. That is slightly below the state average, which tonight remains at 304 across the country. The price also holding steady tonight at 314 a gallon. Now we are all feeling pain at the pump. Some experts predict gas could be 350 a gallon by Memorial Day. Alternative fuel transportation is growing in popularity now as the technology becomes more available and more affordable. Tonight, we take a look at what could be the next generation of gasoline electric hybrid cars. And all you have to do is plug it in. Routine traffic in downtown Columbia. The stop, the go. Everyone rushing to get somewhere and everyone burning that precious and expensive commodity called gasoline. U.S. drivers burn more than 388 million gallons of gas a day. At today's prices, that costs $1.2 billion, and it does great harm to the environment. Enter a solution. What looks like an ordinary Toyota Prius, already the top-selling hybrid in America, is actually something better. James Polk with the Plug-In Hybrid Coalition of the Carolinas says the battery in this concept is six times the normal capacity. The result is a, a car that can really double its efficiency, get uh, up to 100 miles per gallon for the first 30 miles, and then when this super battery runs out, we just revert to the great gas mileage of a conventional Prius. You heard him correctly, 100 miles per gallon. And the best part is... It's as simple as plugging in a regular extension cord. Yeah, so. Mike, yeah Mike, we plug in our cell phones, we plug in all sorts of stuff. Why not, why not plug in our car every day? if we can operate on 75 cents a gallon, rough uh, equivalent. Many people would answer initial cost as a reason to say no. The hybrid models available today cost several thousand dollars more than their all gasoline versions, and it can take anywhere from seven to 15 years to make up that premium in fuel savings. With this plug-in hybrid, it's even accelerated even more because you're using more electricity. Polk also wants the government to offer tax credits, which he feels could bring the overall initial investment down to just $3,000, a figure he says you could recoup in about three years. Columbia is pushing green as its unofficial city color. Mayor Bob Coble and Councilwoman Ann Sinclair both drive hybrids, and Councilman Daniel Rickenman wants one. They all say hybrids would do much to save the environment, and Polk agrees. When you, you, you calculate all the pollution associated with pulling it out of the ground overseas, shipping it overseas, refining it in the United States, sending it to a gas station, getting 12 gallons into a tank in less than two minutes, all the pollution associated with that is significantly more than the pollution that you get from electricity coming out of the, out of the wall socket. Polk says America right now has the infrastructure to power 84% of the cars and light-duty trucks on the road today. Since most recharging would take place overnight, it wouldn't be a big thing to deal with because those are considered off-peak hours. General Motors appears close to making a plug-in vehicle in your garage a reality sooner than you think. Tom Stevens is GM's group vice president for powertrain. He says this compact SUV you see here, a Saturn View, is more than just a concept. It'll be the first OEM produced commercially available production program that could be available as early as 2010. GM is also developing this Chevy Volt concept. It's a good-looking sporty model that could also be on the market by 2010. Now, I've seen that particular car a couple of times at the auto show when I make the trip up to Detroit, and it really does look good. It's actually something that I would consider buying mm -hmm. if it actually does what it uh, what they say it could do. It would be a big change, but if it was ultimately the right thing to do, might we'll be. See. It's making it affordable. Thing. It's going to probably be the selling mm -hmm. point for most folks.